you're here to become a plastic free ambassador. An ambassador? What's that? Some of you might have heard that word before, maybe about the Irish ambassador for Ireland in another country. An ambassador is somebody who represents a country or a cause, and your cause is going to be plastic free. So how can you be a plastic free ambassador? It's going to start with you, by your actions, by what you do every day. For example, you could get yourself a reusable water bottle that you bring with you everywhere you go and use instead of buying a new plastic bottle of water. Another example might be to say no to plastic straws if you're out in a restaurant or a cafe. Now I want you to think of one or two more examples yourself. What actions can you take? Did anyone say don't litter, use less plastic, recycle as much as you can? Brilliant, you're on the right track. There's so many things that you can do that make a big difference. But more than just your own individual actions, you can help other people to change their actions too. Of course your good example will inspire others, but you can also help them to understand why you do the things you do. What are three ways you can share the plastic free message with others? So talk to people, tell them what you know. Make a poster, make a flyer, make a short animation, maybe put on a drama, make a song and a dance about it, literally. Use your talents, your creativity, your skills to spread the message to help everybody to look after the most important place where we all live, planet Earth. Right now, you might not feel ready to take action, but by the end of this project, you will be more than ready to play your part as a plastic free ambassador. Over the next eight lessons, we will be learning all about plastic, why we use it, why we should use less, and what steps we can take to help ourselves and the people around us to use less too. We will learn about how plastic is made, the consequences of our current plastic habits, and most importantly, you will learn how you can live with much less plastic in your life. So straight away, let's talk about the why. Why do you want to learn about using less plastic? Or why did your teacher or your parent think that it was a good idea for you to learn about becoming a plastic free ambassador? If someone came up to you, like maybe a friend or your teacher, and they said, why should we use less plastic? What would you say to them? Why should we use less plastic? So these are the main reasons. Number one, it damages our planet through pollution. You may have seen pictures on the news or in magazines about all the plastic damage that has been done to our planet. That we have a lot of plastic pollution in our ocean. And you've probably seen with your own eyes the plastic rubbish in your local area. It makes me so sad when I'm out for a walk enjoying nature, the trees, the birds, and next thing I see a pile of rubbish or even a bottle or a can on the ground. Most of the rubbish that we see on our streets or in our oceans is made of plastic. Number two, it damages the living things on our planet. You may have seen pictures or videos about wildlife who have either eaten or got stuck in plastic. It's affecting the biggest animal, whales, as well as turtles and other sea creatures, animals on land and birds in the air, all the way down to tiny insects that we depend on for pollination. Bees, flies, wasps, ladybirds. Number three, it takes a really long time to decompose. We'll be talking about this further in a later lesson, but you probably have heard about how long it takes for a plastic bag or a plastic bottle to break down. Some say hundreds, some say thousands of years. <laughs> playing sport or exercising or just when we're on the go and get thirsty. Lots of you may even bring a bottle of water to school. We use them because they are convenient, light and disposable. Is it healthier for us or have we just been sold that idea by companies trying to make profit? After all, water comes out of the tap for free in Ireland. Of course, we don't just buy water in bottles. There's lots of fizzy drinks, juice and smoothies in plastic bottles too. Before buying a drink in a plastic bottle, we need to ask, 
Is this healthy for me? Is this healthy for the planet? If you do use one, make sure you recycle it. The recycled plastic can be made into fleeces, sleeping bags and carpets. Plastic bottles make up a lot of the rubbish in the ocean and are definitely the most common thing I see when out for walks. All recycling needs to be placed into your recycling bin, clean, dry and loose. Instead, use a reusable water bottle. Remember, the things you already own are the most sustainable options. You can get them in so many different designs, made of hard plastic, steel, glass and other materials. I have my steel water bottle for longer than most of you are alive. It's 12 years old and I haven't lost it yet. 20,000 bottles are sold across the world every second and that number is increasing. I wonder can you work out how many that is in one day? In Ireland, we recycle less than 40% of the bottles we use. Worldwide, we recycle less than 9%. That means 91% of plastic bottles made end up in landfill, the ocean, or get incinerated. Nowadays, we are making plastic bottles quicker than we can recycle them. 180 is the average amount of plastic bottles that everyone in Ireland uses every year. That's almost one for every day you go to school in an average year. So, if you got yourself a reusable bottle and used it for the next 10 years, that's 1,800 bottles you'd save from being made. With my reusable bottle, I've stopped the production of at least 2,000 plastic water bottles. Imagine if we all did that. So today we're going to spend time doing a full plastic audit of our lives. What things that you use are made of plastic? Lots of things will come to mind straight away like plastic bottles and plastic bags. But the more time you take to reflect, the more things will come to mind. Think back on your day so far. Are there some things that you've used already today that have been made of plastic? What things that you use are made of plastic? Take 30 seconds. Go. You probably have a lot of things on your list so far, but I'm going to give you a few more hints. If you think of anything else, add them to your list. I want you to think about in school. Think about in your classroom. Is there anything that you use that's made of plastic there? What about your pencil case? What about your PE hall? Think about your home. Have you got things from your bathroom on your list? What about your kitchen? Your bedroom? Why not pause the video and go for a tour of your home? Go from room to room and note all the items that you see that are made of plastic. Why not even go outside your house and see if there's any things there that you use that are made of plastic? So you've got a list. So I'm wondering on your list if you've included your technology. Have you got a laptop, a computer, a phone, maybe a games console? maybe a hairdryer or a toaster, a microwave. Every electricity cable that we use is actually covered in plastic to make it safe. I want you to think about planes, trains, cars, bikes. Do any of these have components that are made of plastic? Imagine being inside a car. Are there parts on the inside made of plastic? Are there parts on the outside made of plastic? What other things did you come up with? Maybe furniture, toys? What about the things that are on you right now? Maybe you have bracelets, glasses, um, clips in your hair, tie backs. Did you know that even a lot of your clothes and shoes are made of plastic? We now have a way of making fibres and materials from plastic. Check the labels on your clothes to see if they're made of plastic. Now, it's not going to say plastic on the label, but it will say some of these things polyester, nylon, acrylic. 
These are all types of plastic fibres that we use to make our clothes. You can check the labels on your clothes, check your fleeces, your leggings, your tops. So you can take a photo of the clothes labels and share them with us. You probably didn't expect your list to be getting so long. Look at all the different things that we use every day that are made of plastic. Now I need to tell you straight away that I'm not going to ask you to stop using all those things on your list. But there is a certain type of plastic that I want you to see if you can stop using. I wonder if you know what type of plastic I'm referring to. What kinds of plastic am I most worried about? Nowadays we're calling it single-use plastic or disposable plastic. It's plastic that's specifically designed just to be used once and then thrown away. You might have some of it on your list. We often use it in packaging. So if you looked in your kitchen, you might have realised that a lot of your food is packaged in plastic. Once we take the food out of the package, then we throw that plastic away. There's many other examples of single-use plastic that we use every day, and those are the things that we're really going to focus on eliminating from our lives. Have a look at your list and see if anything on your list is single-use plastic. What single-use plastic do you use in your life? These are the things I've come up with on my list. Plastic bottles, plastic bags, cling film, food packaging, packaging on other things that I get. We'll definitely be coming back and talking a lot more about this during the course of the project, but I want you just to notice one thing for the moment. A lot of the single-use plastic that we use is actually for packaging. So we don't actually want the thing that's made of plastic, we want the thing that's inside the plastic wrapping. Maybe you already have yourself a reusable water bottle, but if you don't, make a plan. Do you have something in your house that you can use or do you have some savings that you can use to invest in one that will last you for many, many years? In each lesson, I'm going to challenge you to take something that we normally throw away and to upcycle it into something useful. Upcycling or creative reuse is where people all around the world take something that someone considers rubbish and they give it a new lease of life. It can be something useful, something beautiful or something fun, but definitely something that stops that item from ending up in landfill right away. So today's challenge is of course plastic bottles. Share with us what you make using the hashtags PF for kids or plastic free ambassador. For today's lesson, I want you to engage your family or the people you live with to do a 24 hour plastic audit. Over the next 24 hours, take note of everything that you use that's made of plastic. You can work together to make one list or you can make separate lists and compare them to see if anything went unnoticed. Have fun. So before I go, I just want to draw your attention to the different follow-on activities that are below this video. In the next lesson, we'll be talking all about why we use plastic. When did we start using it? Why? Where did it come from? Let's look at the history of plastic. Well done on taking the first step to becoming a plastic-free ambassador. I'm really looking forward to sharing lots more information with you on this journey. Until the next time, bye!